you guys so you can see it in a little bit and kind of go and then i'll go over what i have planned for this car see some of the oh yeah uh, little features and stuff of what this car is like at night Welcome back to the channel and in today's episode i'm going to go over the mods that i already did to my 2024 volkswagen golf gti 380 edition last year at the manual gearbox hopefully that's not the case hopefully volkswagen will continue to offer these cars with manual gearboxes but uh but it has been designated as the 380 which means the is basically like a code for the last year of the manual gearbox so I'm happy I have this car here. Also happy to have our 2023 FL500 Civic Type R. Uh, by the way, some I, I want you guys, I want your input on this. So somebody offered me a trade on this car, right? And they're willing to pay me about 2,000 more than what I owe for it, for this, um, for my 2023 FL500 Civic Type R. And it's a Boost Blue. 2022 no sorry not a boost blue sorry it's a rapid blue 2022 camaro ss1 elite and my payments will be lower should i trade in our our honda civic type r and get back into another camaro ss1 elite where i'll be paying less money comment and let me know because i'm still on the fence i'm you know it's a it's a great offer but i honestly love this type r and i think if i did it i would probably regret it and miss the type r so that's you know i just had to throw that in there because i'm doing this in real time and i want you you know all you guys opinions so comment and let me know but getting back to uh volkswagen golf gti uh the first thing i did was the tints and i'll take it out to show you guys so you can see it in a little bit and kind of go and then i'll go over what i have planned for this car because this car i'm not even trying to entertain trade offers or anything this car i plan on modding and doing a lot with uh this car it, 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 there's so many people that want it and the value is so high like you know people are hitting me with offers like dealerships that i've dealt with in the past basically are hitting me up and say hey we watch your channel we watch your videos and we want to you know buy a car and we'll trade you this and they want me to shout out the dealership and stuff like that like crazy it's crazy the, the things that start happening when your channel is growing on youtube like stuff like that never happened to me before but yeah it's happening now and i figured i'd share that with you guys but yeah let's head out and we'll go over some of the mods that i plan on doing with this vehicle so let's head out all right so i know a lot of you guys don't consider tents a mod but for what they cost to get your cars tinted now like a lot of them are like four or five hundred dollars just to get your cars tinted and to me it could like pretty much change up the whole look of the car dramatically so i remember when before i got this car tinted i was actually on youtube looking to see how other people with the golf gti did their their sun visor like this part right here and i decided to go a little bit like match it with the bottom part of this portion here just because I figured it'd look a little bit more cleaner and a lot more meaner as well versus like some people would do the whole windscreen uh the whole windshield i don't think we're allowed to do that in florida so i had to do it as a visor and then some people would do it shorter all the way to like here and i didn't think that complemented the look of this car so that's why i did mine the way that i did but you guys can comment below and let me know what you think like do you like the way it looks i think it gives it a nice mean look so you know it works for me man you know with the full black on black on black car you know and the only thing that i did not do because i, I have a guy that can do it but most people can't get to it is i did not tint this little portion right there but that's something that i plan on doing uh soon anyway like we're gonna I'm gonna, I have a guy that, that does that, so I just gotta go see him and we'll get that portion done. But yeah, let's head out and we'll get to the rest of this video.
<laughs> like every single time. And it clearly says do not turn on red, but yeah, every single time. So by the time I got out here, it got dark like really fast. So you can't really see the first mod, which is the tent. But you see we got like the sunshade visor there, if you can even see it. And we went legal with the tent. We basically did like a full illegal tent. And to me, it just makes the car look a little bit that much more meaner. But um, man, it's, it's cold out here. I don't know if you guys can hear the wind. Like we're on top of the world out here and yeah it's pretty windy so i'm probably gonna finish up the rest of this video on the inside and yeah you guys will get to see some of the oh yeah uh, little features and stuff of what this car is like at night like i said man i love the interior and stuff this is a really fun car for me but it is too cold let me get up in here uh all right Whew. So yeah, one of the first things I had to do in here was uh, turn on the <laughs> the heated steering wheel because it is cold. I even got the heated seats on. So shout out to VW for, you know, offering these features. Like I never had a heated steering wheel in a car before. So I'm so happy that this one has it. So yeah, but um, let me go over. So yeah, you can see it on the inside. Hopefully, um, you know, the car is tinted now. It makes it feel a lot more real. It just feels a lot better to me. So I'm happy that it's tinted. And I would say the first mod that I plan on doing with this car is probably gonna be lowering springs. I'm probably gonna go with the H&R lowering springs. But if you guys know a better uh, spring setup to go to lower this car, cause I don't want it to be too aggressively dropped. I don't want it to be too, too low. I just want it to be low enough to where like it feels slightly better and looks a little bit better, you know? So we're gonna go with the lower lowering springs. That'll be the first mod. Second mod is probably gonna be exhaust. Probably do a slightly, um, may go with AWE or I'm looking at them and some other, other options to go with exhaust. So we'll do the exhaust. And then uh, I have to get out to show you this. Man, you guys lucky, you know, that, that, that I rock with y'all as hard as I do because it is cold and I do not wanna go back outside, but I'll just show you, like. <sighs> Uh, yeah <laughs> so i want to put on the golf r wing on the back here so i'll switch out put the golf r wing um there's also some other vw accessories that i can do i want to do there's like a vw uh, front lip spoiler that i can put on the front there so i'm going to do that so just imagine with this car a little bit lowered uh we'll do the the wing the front lip splitter like those are going to be like the first couple mods that I'm gonna do and then from there I'm waiting for the Cobb uh, tune to be available so I'd want to get the Cobb access port and hopefully they'll have like a intake as well you know so I'll do like a Cobb intake access port and then really see what this car is capable of and you know once we get going from there and everything's going smooth then I may look later on. And it depends on if you guys really enjoy me modding this vehicle and stuff, then we'll also go ahead and, you know, turn it up another level and probably do like a, a downpipe, run it like that for a while. And then we'll go all out and do a bigger turbo, you know, do like a full build, try to get this to like 500 horsepower. But comment below, let me know what you guys think. Like, let me know how you guys feel about those mods. And then, you know, and, I, and in between modding and everything, we will be racing it and taking it to the track and seeing what it's capable of and stuff like that. And if you guys have any other mods that you want to add in, feel free to comment and let me know. And yeah, man, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoy this. Race car friends, out.